Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy 2KJ Gaming back here today with another video. Hope you guys are having a good day today. So in today's video, man, I'm going to be talking about some of the things I miss in my team. So that could be 2K17, 2K16, 15, 14, maybe even 13 and 12. Or did it come out in 12? Well, whenever, basically in the past my team years. And stay tuned because I know a lot of you are actually going to agree with me. So if you go on, if I go on to say something that you do agree with, that you do miss from a previous 2K, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new because I'm dropping some new content almost every day. And follow me on Twitter at 2KJGaming1. I would appreciate it if you guys did all those things. But getting into today's video, man, number one on the things I miss about the old my team was collection rewards. Now, I think it was 2K15 that you could actually get MT rewards. So like I remember, I think one of them was the Wizards collection. If you collected everybody from the Wizards, you got like 25,000 MT. And it sucks that they patched it. And the reason they patched it was because people were doing like glitches. They would go, they would make another account and they would go ahead, you know, sell all the players. They'd get the MT from that. Because back then you could actually, once you got a, a, a collection reward, you could actually go ahead and sell the players. You didn't need to lock them in. All you need to do is just get all the players and after that you could sell them and i guess you know everybody started doing that to make easy mt you know they would go ahead they purchase the cards once they got the mt they'd sell the cards um and then they would transfer some mt over to another account and do the same thing over and over and it basically you would be making a lot of mt it was time consuming but you would make a lot of mt doing no basically nothing and I guess 2K found out about this and they went ahead and patched it. That's the year they gave us like balls for collection rewards, which was, oh no, it was Sapphire players that they gave us. The next year they gave us balls for uh, for collections, which was whack. So that sucks. I wish they would have kept that in. I mean, even if you did have to lock them in, I wouldn't mind that. You know, we, at least we could get like 25K MT or something. But obviously, man, I, don't, they, I highly doubt they'll ever do this again. Because people, you know, I know someone's going to find a way to exploit it. But if they could bring that back, that'd be so dope. Number two is going to be pack prices. Now, pack prices, man. Uh, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that this is one of the things that I hate about my team. It's really, it's my team is all about money, 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 money. Who has, you know, the most money to spend on packs. And it also re uh, relies on pure luck. Um, but yeah, they... They really need to tone down pack prices because I remember packs were like way cheap. They were like, I don't know, like five, what was it, like 6,000 for a throwback pack? Now it costs like almost 6,000 for a regular pack. And now throwback packs are like, what, 8,000 or 7,000 something? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's something like that. And then obviously, you know, the, the special ones are like 11,000 uh, VC. So that's crazy, man, that they, they got to really tone down pack prices because that's way too much. And remember, this is a game targeted towards kids and you can't be expecting the kid to, you know, spend all his money that he earns, whether it's like from, I don't know, maybe he works or maybe his parents give him money. So, you know, you can't expect him to blow all that money on packs, especially when, you know, they're probably not even going to get the player they want. So they really got to tone down pack prices maybe have like regular packs 3500 throwback packs maybe like 5000 and then you know those special packs go ahead and make them like 6250 something like that you know something so you know it's still like it's not cheap but you know it's not expensive as hell so hopefully they could fix that i know they could fix that it's just a matter of if they want to so i mean hopefully they do moving on to number 3 is going to be when you actually opened up packs for a player and not a collection. So obviously now, I remember, I think it was 2K15 and 16, I believe. But mostly I think 2K15 was back then. You know, when they put out a throwback Thursday or whatever, you actually opened up packs for that card. So, you know, uh, the Onyx, I remember when Onyx Tracy McGrady came in in 2K15, I think. I remember everybody spent like everybody was opening packs because they wanted to get Tracy McGrady. You know, it wasn't no catch, it wasn't no oh complete all of these uh, throwback collections, and you get you know blah blah blah. Like back then, you actually opened up packs for the player. You didn't have to open up packs to get a whole bunch of players that you'll probably never use to get that player, and then you would have to lock them in. And like I said, if you don't even want to play, like, I don't know, maybe they throw in, like, a Bob Cousy. I'm a Celtics fan, but I don't want to use Bob Cousy. I'd rather use somebody else. 
you know, somebody with better animations, maybe better shooting stats, or, you know, whatever the case may be. And that sucks because sometimes you have to get that card so you could complete the collection for what you want. So if they could actually throw it back and, like, actually put out, when they put out a card, you know, actually make that card available in the packs. Don't make them, you know, make you have to collect like so many expensive cards you know maybe like three rubies couple sapphires and then obviously those like emeralds that probably no one wants or golds that no one wants so that'd be cool man if they could actually do that that'd be way better than you opening up packs 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 try to pull the player so you could complete the collection no put the actual player in that in the packs that you're promoting and i think that'd be a fun way and number four closing it out is gonna be the what's it called the I don't know what to call it like card collector I guess that's what you would call it um, now you don't they don't have that for what reason I don't know it's like what do you have to complete goals I think it's uh, I'm pretty sure it's called the goals and you know obviously it's like win 99 stars in domination or um, sell something on the auction block or you know stuff like that it's like why can't they just have card collectors I remember back then because it made it more fun because like in 2k 15 16 and 17 and I, and I think 14 too they had this um excuse me um I remember they actually had uh the card collector and it would be cool because you know collect 500 cards you get I don't know like an emerald penny hardaway collect 600 cards you get emerald um you know tr Tracy McGrady I don't know I'm just making up players but you get my point basically the more cards you collected you know the better would cards would be remember like in 2k what was it 15 or 16 you got you could get like diamond Allen Iverson I think diamond James Harden diamond uh, Damian Lillard so like that was way better than just you know having to do these because now to get like the reward cards it's way more difficult you got to do a bunch of stuff like weekly challenges one of them is for weekly challenges if you don't even play weekly challenges you know that's going to be so hard because if you just need that and it's boring and you don't want to do it you shouldn't be ha you shouldn't have to be forced to do it but uh anyways guys that's it for today's video man that's me talking about four, uh four things that i missed in previous 2k my teams i'll probably do one of these for my park or something else but anyways guys if you like today's video make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and i'm out